Well, I'm sorry, it was not French fries. Because I was thinking the hybrid vehicles. That's the one. The, um, because the hybrid is the ethanol. Yeah. Well, whenever I was in my tech class this summer, we took a tour of the plant. And he was explaining that, like, they had a hybrid or um, one of those flex fuel, the yeah. Suburbans. And yeah. he was like, these cars only get good gas mileage. Like, it's only cost effective if you're doing like highway traveling. Yeah. The in town, it's not because they run on the battery only. Like. You run on the battery, is it, I don't know, but it wouldn't be cost effective yeah, if you were like just doing stop and go travelings. The Suburbans, they have the conversion that you can go from a V8 to a V4, mm -hmm. so you're only running on four cylinders. But the thing with the ethanol is, is it's really not that much better for the environment. Mm -hmm. Like it's all, it's like pure corn or whatever, like you say, it's oil. like not using as much oil, but it's not like that good of a return for the actual environment, like it's just basically used as an alternative fuel source to try and save oil mm -hmm. for the country or for the world or whatever, not actually make it better. Yeah. So I think that really your best alternative would be the biodiesel mm -hmm. conversion, which you take the grease from those two things. And Probably then, fast food things. Well, the other thing is, is sorry, continue. No, 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 I was just going to say, just the propane conversion, and like, we have contracts with I'm sure with like places around town that use fried food, I'm sure you could set up a contract that you could just get oh, yeah. oil like that way. Business business would thrive overall in the city of Pittsburgh because they'd be able to sell something that they normally just have to pay to get taken away. It'd be our way to pay back to the community kind of like another way, you know, we're trying to um, time the community as much as possible, so that'd be it would be good. That's true. Okay. Well, what I was gonna say is like if we do it <laughs> mostly from the uh, from the oil that's on campus, is there enough oil? But if you, like you said, you bring in yeah, the entire. Well, I was gonna say, and you don't need to convert every vehicle to biodiesel to see a return. Like if you did one police car on biodiesel, you'd save that much money. Like you'd save that much money on frequent maintenance. Like, cause another thing, I don't know if I said it about the propane, but you don't have to get your oil changed every 3,000 miles burning propane. You, it's every 6,000, so that's twice the driving life per vehicle. Like, so, say it costs $40 to get oil changed, and you have to get oil changed probably since you're driving probably three or four times a month. That's only two or three times a month you have to get oil changed. That's $80 a month, but when you compare, when you put that on five vehicles. At the end, it turns up thousands and thousands of dollars yeah. that's easily saved by a whatever, how many thousand dollar conversion. Mm -hmm. well, even, be taxed. Yeah. even if it's just one vehicle, yeah. I mean, think about it. You, how many vehicles patrol a night? Maybe three, yeah. three, four at the most. There's so even always, one vehicle. There's always four officers on duty. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of them double up, which is another, which is another option that they could do to save money is double up officers per car. Mm -hmm. But um, I know there's four officers that are on patrol each night, plus like whatever is like parked and whatnot. Well, and we wouldn't even have to limit it to police vehicles either because Pitt State has how many like suburbans or official Pitt State vehicles for a community like suburbans and well, the, yeah. buses and vans. The school, the school like big traveling buses or whatever, I'm almost certain those are diesel. Mm -hmm. You could throw a bio, you could convert that to biodiesel mm -hmm. like that. I mean, literally, you could take a screen, pour grease in it, and the oil that comes out of the bottom with all the food taken out of it, you could put in the car and fuse. Like, it's that easy. Like, there's an actual conversion thing you do that converts it to a like, better fuel, but mm -hmm. I mean, you can straight just pour vegetable oil into your car if you need to. That's true. But some of them do go out of state. Like, we took, um, we took a video, we took a vehicle all the way to Cincinnati. Yeah. It's like a cute, I don't know. Is it would it make it to Cincinnati on just like Pitt State oil? I doubt it, but but then again, like say it can go on the tank that it has, it can go 600 miles. Mm -hmm. Say it's like a thousand mile round trip. That's only 400 miles worth of gas you're actually going to have to pay substantial money for. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that with the biodiesel you can put regular diesel in. Like on top of it, like you put like the. I, I think that I I'm not don't quote me on this. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think that they can mix and still, like, because it's still diesel or whatever. So that's something that we could look into as well. And even just talking to, like, the biology or some, like, 
science department, I'm sure they could help us with that. And the biology department, Gil said, was in charge of the recycling thing, so I'm sure they'd have plenty of information mm -hmm. about that, all the processes you can do vehicle-wise. Yeah, which that leads me to our next topic was, you said the physical plant and then um, the departments, us talking with the departments, or at should, least buildings. Uh, yeah, I think we should pick like, not not do all of them. Yeah. Just pick like two or three buildings to focus on. Like, I think if we did like Grubs, White Sit, and Rust. Well, and definitely the Tech Center because the Tech Center is like its own. Okay, so we'll scrap White Sit. We'll go Grubs, Rust, and Tech Center because I think those are the most used buildings, like mm -hmm. as far as like class wise goes. Because Grubs is or Rust is four stories. Grubs is four stories. The Tech Center has how many thousands of students have to go daily. <laughs> And maybe Gates and uh, Eckert Wells because they're, I mean, like we just said, you just said yeah. the biology department. Yeah, so. I, just, I just don't want to get too many so yeah. we don't get over our heads because we do only have a couple of Yeah, I know, I completely so. agree. And with the problems we're having with people emailing us back right now. Well, what if we just, what if we went and we talked to one department head per building? Like, um, I know Dr. Allen said so I could talk to Dr. Allen about what they're doing to go green in this building. And then maybe each of us can take like, one or two buildings, and that would cover everything if we just got to one. Did yeah. the Gill know the park head or something? He's no. But even if, just like how Gill told us today, Gill seemed very well knowledgeable about what they were doing in this building. So, so we could do you could just time. talk to even a teacher if you know a teacher pretty well. They should make sure. That I think that we should talk. I mean, you know, the teacher is supposed to like not help. Uh, I think if for the paper, we because he, I mean, he did the way he sounded. He had extensive knowledge about what was going on. I guess, yeah, I, I think, think he, he really reliable did. source. I mean, he had all these all the suggestions about how there's only one recycle thing. It's on one side That's of the true. fourth floor. That's true. I mean, he had ideas that I think that we can relay and use effectively in the paper just mm -hmm. by talking to him and that way we knock down having to talk to or have to find someone to grow up so like that's already done we got to get mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then whoever I don't know who's in charge of the biology department just if we all can does everybody is everybody's class in, basically in grubs I mean just as we're walking if everyone could just stop in the building and talk to somebody yeah. it wouldn't be that hard and it doesn't have to be just like the kind of questions we asked Gil today I mean mm -hmm. basic what are what's this building doing to Work on recycling and being sustainable and cutting back. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'll. Probably, I could do the text, and I don't. Think, I don't go out there very often. But I yeah. can shoot. I can shoot an email to someone out there. I mean, at least do a solid body worth of information. Have they cut down on printing card? Like, um, like cut down on printing availability or you know paper usage or just I mean you know. Mm -hmm. um, so we agree. Everyone's just gonna kind of take care of a couple. Of, it's okay. If we don't get all the buildings, but. Just at least at least try to talk to one person. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, so that's, do you just want to do four buildings then? Yeah, that's that. I mean, that'd be okay. If someone wants to talk to Gil. Well, we can do five because we already talked to, we already pretty much got grubs, so we'll include grubs and then everyone take yeah, another I, one. Yeah, I think that we should like branch out a little bit on the information we got from grubs. Mm -hmm. Like maybe try and... <laughs> that was loud. Maybe try and capture just a little bit, like, like get some more structured questions and more structured answers. Like, because I know Gil had his information today, but he's kind of just rambling about things he thought. Like, I mean, if we give him a strict question that has to be detailed answered, so no yes, no, or anything like that, yes. I think we can get a solid amount of information. And, um, Goodness. I don't know, but I wonder if it's picking up the sound on that. <laughs> uh, we can be a little drown it out, I'm sure. So, Yang's tech program. I visit White Sit quite a, I visit it three times a week, so I can do White Sit. Who's in charge of the, I mean, you're in the A, intro to AV, can you talk to like Troy maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe he's just, he's the department. Broadcasting. I mean, he's in that building all the time, so I think he probably knows some. Yeah, I'll talk to Troy. I'm gonna take Kells. That's the only other building I have besides besides Grubs. I'm in Kells for one time, and that's it.